All right, today I wanted to do a quick video of how to set up a Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines on a modern computer. Uh, I recently completed this game and I wanted to show everyone what I did to get it running. So I'm going to be using the Steam version and uh, I'm going to show you, this machine is Windows 10, so I'm going to show you what I saw on Windows 10. Uh, on Windows 8.1 I also tried this and I got an error saying uh, available memory less than 15 megabytes. So you may see that on a Windows 8.1 machine. This is what I saw on a Windows 10 machine uh, the first time I clicked play after uh, downloading it from Steam. So the intro videos are playing right now. You don't see them, so I'm gonna skip through them. And here's the menu. And when you go into options, video, you're not going to have any widescreen resolutions to pick from. You're only going to have 4x3 uh, uh, aspect ratios. So that's kind of a bummer too. So I'm going to show you how to fix these issues. All right, so there is an unofficial patch that you can install. And as of this recording, the version uh, is 9.4. So I'm going to put in the video description a link to the site where you can go to download it. And you'll just go to this site and there are different uh, versions for different languages. Here's the English version. You just click the download button and you can download it. So we're going to install it right now. All right, you can read uh, this uh, information page, all the information about the patch. Click Next. It's already detected uh, where it's uh, installed in Steam, which folder it's in. So that's good. Hit next. And here you'll get to this option here. Uh, the basic patch is more of a vanilla version of the game. It just uh, fixes uh, you know bugs that are outstanding in the game. However, the plus patch you can install. It restores content the developers of the original game were not able to, I guess, finish in time. And you also get uh, additional tweaks. Uh, some people recommend going with the basic patch for the first playthrough if you want to experience the vanilla game, I guess. Uh, I went ahead and did the plus patch, so let's go ahead and do that. This will take a couple minutes to install. Alright, so once that's done, I'm going to unclick the readme here and go ahead and start the game. All right, so now the intro videos, you can see the actual video and the audio. You can hear the audio. If we go here into options, video, you'll in the drop down, you'll see um, widescreen resolutions or aspect ratios. And uh, you can pick the resolution, native resolution of your monitor here. And if you go to the gameplay tab, you should see here the version of the unofficial patch you have installed. That will tell you that um, you are actually playing the version with the unofficial patch applied. Because um, there is one thing I wanted to show you guys, and that was... You try to launch the game from Steam after you've installed the patch. You'll see this. The game will appear to run fine. You'll get the intro videos. When you go to video, you'll see the resolution. However, you'll see this weird checkbox. You're overlapping text going on. And when you go to the gameplay, you won't see any mention of the unofficial patch. So I don't believe you're running with the unofficial patch applied. So what you should always do is launch the game from either the desktop shortcut that it creates. Uh, it also creates a shortcut in the start menu. So I would use those to actually launch the game. Another thing I wanted to mention was um, when I played the game, I would sometimes have some weird echo effects uh, when I, in dialogue when I was talking to characters. So I discovered in the audio tab, if you unclick this environmental effects checkbox, um, that took care of that. So if you experience that issue, that's something you can try. It worked for me. Um, another thing I'd like to mention is I occasionally when I was playing through the game, I got a few crashes to desktop. So here's what I did. And once I did this, I didn't experience it again. So in Steam, I go to the game, 
right click, go to properties, go to local files, click browse local files. Uh, that will just bring you to the folder uh, where the game is installed. Uh, and you can just right click the vampire.exe executable, go to properties, go to compatibility. Um, in compatibility mode, click this for run this program in compatibility mode 4 and pick Windows XP Service Pack 3. Apply, hit OK. When I did that, um, it seemed to solve those crashes I was experiencing. So that's something you can try. Okay, now I want to show you um, a few things you can do to uh, improve the graphics of the game. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, the Radeon new uh, Crimson drivers. You can do the same thing in NVIDIA as well. So in Crimson, uh, if you go to Gaming, it's going to load um, all the games you have installed via Steam, and there will be uh, a menu item for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. However, when I tried to do settings for this, they sometimes didn't really seem to have effect. So I manually added the executable, and that seemed to uh, do it for sure. So to do that, you can just click this Add button, do Browse, and we can go to the location where uh, Bloodlines is installed and pick the executable. And that should add a new item here in the list uh, for Vampire. And then you can just uh, click this to go to the options. And here you can enhance the application settings, uh, or actually override application. Here you can override application settings. And this will force anti-aliasing to take effect. So you could do like 8x. Um, I don't recommend turning on this morphological filtering. Um, when I did that, it seemed to kind of slow the game down. So I don't recommend that. Uh, you can turn on anisotropic filtering, and I'll do 16x on that. You turn on VSync and OpenGL triple buffering, and back. And now, when you launch the game, um, you should have uh, definitely much better graphics. Uh, finally, I want to recommend a site I always go to when I first uh, play an older game. It's a PC Gaming Wiki. So here's the page for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Kind of a good first stop to kind of see what unofficial patches are available, um, that sort of thing. Uh, and then I kind of branch off from there if I need to. I just thought I'd mention that. It's usually very helpful. Um, so that's, that's it. Hopefully these things help you get the game running on uh, your computer.